family that built the South Street Seaport? Who's the guy? Not South Street Seaport, the Baltimore, um, you know, what's the big... Uh, the Inner big Harbor? Barrier? The Inner Harbor, yeah. Oh, I don't know. The famous guy. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, someone that had done stuff for other cities, yes, too. Yes, yeah. Yeah, but I don't... Yeah. I what's don't it called, know. the Inner Harbor? It's called the Inner Harbor. It's pretty creative. It's yeah. <laughs> Where the aquarium is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you've been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. I just went to the aquarium last week. Are there sharks there? There are. There are, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mako sharks. What? They don't have any huge ones. Right. But the shark show is pretty cool. Like, they get them to jump really high over. Out of the water. No, no. dolphins. A dolphin. <laughs> it was a yeah. dolphin show. It right. A shark show. So, it was Daniel Day Lewis <laughs> in. He, he, Daniel Day Lewis was in. He's just not The there Elephant too. Man. Right? right. No, no, no. He wasn't oh. in the Elephant Man. Well, I read some... John Hurd was in the Elf. Oh, okay. Yeah. I read that you cited Daniel Day-Lewis, and I don't know how long ago this was, but that you cited him as, as you know... Um, the best. The best yeah. in the world. Yeah. How long ago did you say that? Do you agree with I him now? I was the first one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he, when he was lesser known and, uh, yeah. and helped, helped his fame? Uh, um, um, uh, I thought that since... Um, Shit, man. Uh, name of the father, probably. But and he's the best. I mean, I, but I, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I think that's sort of. Everybody says that, don't they? Yeah. They kind of do. Yeah, but he is my. He, I mean, I, I can watch him for. I just, you know, he's it's, he's the uh, the goal, the ultimate goal. And I don't think he'll find out if he's been knocked down to like second place. I mean, I don't know. He may read the city paper from Baltimore. I'm not sure, right. but. Is he still number one in oh, your yeah. eyes? Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. It's yes. okay. He's in a whole other world. There's like, uh, it's a whole other level, you know. Michael Shannon was amazing in Revolutionary Road. But it's just different. It's also because, like, Daniel Day-Lewis is a leading man who's able to do this stuff. You know, like, he's a beautiful leading man, like, but the, he's everything. It's mm-hmm. like, it's, it's insane what he, he's able to do. I mean, Philip Seymour Hoffman is a genius. Well, you know, um, and John Malkovich, and that. but Philip Seymour Hoffman really is a genius. And do you think about comedy when you think of Daniel Day Lewis? I think he could do comedy. I think he's hilarious. Because the, the two other guys. Oh, okay, right. Okay. I think because he is so funny. The other two guys you mentioned, I was like, oh well, they, they're so easy to see in comedy. They have that like kind of straight thing and the right. the, the timing with it. They seem to really get it. Yeah, but I think Daniel Day Lewis. I mean, Gangs of New York put that to rest. Any any doubt. But even my dirty laundrette, I feel like he was funny, even though he was very straight in that movie. But, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, he was hilarious at points that there would be blood. Like he has timing. It does. There's no difference, you know. what I mean, like, could he do a comedy in two seconds? I see. I think. You know, I think he made the gangs in New York comedic. Um, you want to talk about the movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Haven't we have talked about? It? <laughs> no. We well, I brought it up a few times. Did you? Um, did you have a good time? Making the movie? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a great time. I had an amazing time. Do you ever notice when actors sometimes say what a great time they had um, making a movie? They the movie away. actually sucked. Um, Do you ever I hear them Maverick. say that? With I, remember, their... I remember watching Maverick. Remember that movie with Mel Gibson and Jodie Foster? I remember oh, them the saying Western? That, yeah, and they thought they had the best time in the world. The movie was awful. And you sort of see, when you see the movie, you see that they thought that. <laughs> That they kind of yeah. knew, they were aware of? No, no, that they thought it was great. You know what I mean? Like, you see them thinking, like, this is so funny. And you're like, but it's just not funny. But they had a good time. And you can tell that they had a great time <laughs> making it. But we weren't in on it. But that's like those Ocean 12, 11 movies, too. You're like, they like, you can tell that they had a fun making it. Whether it's, whether it works or not, you know? But, right. You know what I mean? But you know that they had so much fun making it, so you kind of, like, have fun. Right. I agree with that. You know? I agree with that. Um, this movie, I think, I saw it, and I, I, I think, I, I don't have a problem, I feel like I have a pretty objective eye, even with the stuff I'm in, and I would be the first to say that it's not good, you know, but uh, it's really good. You know, it's so really it's, good. Yeah, I think it's a really good movie. Have I mean, for what I think, I think, it's a, I, think it's, I think it's a great movie. Have you seen it? Like, twice. The music is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> The music right at the is, beginning when they're showing Vegas and it's like dude, there's some music and, and it's is that like Rihanna? Huge, is that the Rihanna song? Yeah, I think so. Right? No, it's like, the Kanye song. Right? No, no, it's Rihanna. The, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. When the, when the, the, the water fountain yes. goes up and then up and then it's up insane. and then up? 
No, it's wonderful. Right. Man. I know. All, like, it's all like charged up. Yeah. And then check out the soundtrack. So, did you enjoy Vegas? I did enjoy Vegas. You know, I was scared uh, to live at Caesar's Palace for a month and a half, which is was like sounded like. But I actually. We're going back for the press junket next week, and I'm really looking forward to spending four days at the Caesars Palace in Vegas. Right, yeah. and working in a different way, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Did you gamble when mm-hmm. you were there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, what's your what's your game? Uh, uh, roulette, poker. I mean, blackjack. Yeah. You don't like the slots. No, uh, Zachy was good at that. I like. The he slots. was like, yeah, yeah. He was he would he would uh, he would always do the slots. It's like if I could spend five dollars and hang out for like an hour in front of something, I'm not waiting to win right. big. I just want to keep it going. That that's my. I really became aware of those bells and whistles, man. Why those things always have? Why there's so many sounds? It really is like a weird uh, Pavlovian effect that it has, you know. Right, someone's winning. Yeah, it makes you want to bet and uh, stay up and alert. It's really fascinating. The whole casino. Uh, Par- uh, um, con- uh, not the, the, the casino structure of how to get one to want to bet and stay in gambling mode. And it's a, really it's fascinating. It's almost like they overload you with stimulus, so yes. that, so that you're actually it's so weird because what you do is it's you focused. train yourself on the game. Yeah, and right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's non nonstop. So how did you guys all look? So especially you, so hung over in. 75% of the film. You yeah. Just look, you look beat. And yeah. I know a lot of the filming was in the desert. Yeah, and I know I do run. look really, really, and I felt very hungover. Uh, I, 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 uh, I don't know why I, I felt that I, uh, you know, but it's part of acting, I guess. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It really helps. I guess that's what we were talking about physically. Like, it was so fun to do this movie because... In every scene, which is a, somebody talking to each other, it, it, there's all this other stuff that you, one has to have already gone through. Like, remember you didn't sleep, you know, you're completely hungover, you know? Oh, it's full. Thank God I've got that. It is filming, right? Okay. Woo! Um, I like that it was the hangover instead of hungover. Yes. Because hungover, it's like... Ugh. Hungover. But the and hangover? also hungover is past tense. Right. So it's already happened, the hangover. It's like, it's the, it's, and there's an article before, the before. Yeah, it's like. With them. Yeah. Um, and also, this is what it is, like defining it. You know, it's like the hangover. Right, yeah. and that's why it's not the bachelor party. Right, right, because it's not the bachelor party. I know, are you worried that you guys won't be as funny as, as Tom Hanks in the bachelor party? I think there's going to be movie. some comparison. Luckily, <laughs> you know, luckily we we don't have the gall to think that we're coming up against best party. You know, why try to Classic. take down a Goliath? Yeah. Um. So I counted four butts, four different men's butts in the film. And none of them are mine. No. Um. Was your butt not as funny as the other butts? My butt is hilarious. <laughs> What but um, I don't know. I gave a good audition, but for some reason they just didn't. They just they said that they were like you know it's down between you and a few of the butts, and um, and for a second there we thought that they business affairs had called and checked our quotes, our butt quotes, and then um, you know how much we get for a day, for <laughs> right? Butt. And uh, and then all of a sudden they said you know thanks a lot you know we'll keep you we'll keep you in in our thoughts, but uh, we're gonna go with another butt. Really? Yeah. But it looks good. I'm up for this butt trilogy that I think I have a good shot at. The butt trilogy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, an untitled butt picture. 